what's up guys Tekshan here back with another video. I know most TVs in the market have not so good inbuilt speakers. Many of you guys have been requesting me to suggest a soundbar which has excellent built in design, dedicated subwoofer, superb audio output, ample connectivity including bluetooth, above all on a super impressive pricing. Well I guess I have something for you guys. Shan, is this the soundbar? Hey, come on, you are joking right? <laughs> Wait, but before that, as always if you end up liking this video, make sure to smash that like button and if you are new to Techshan, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more awesome tech content. I hope you guys will do it. Alright, now to answer your question, well, this is the soundbar. Meet the Jukebar 4000 from Zebronix, a fantastic soundbar with a subwoofer to amplify your TV sound experience. Zebronix is a 20 plus year old brand that needs no introduction and this is their budget soundbar from their latest lineup which is quite impressive. Retail box, nice packaging. When I carry it, it reminds me of Cut open, first we have a packet with a bunch of stuff. A user guide, a remote, two AAA batteries for the remote, two foam pads and screws with wall plugs in case you want to wall mount the soundbar. Then an aux cable. Alright, next comes the woofer. And finally we have the soundbar. That's about the box contents. Here is the Jukebar 4000. Alright, I know you guys will have a lot of questions about the soundbar. So let me go ahead and answer the most common questions you guys might have about the soundbar in my exclusive FAQ style so you are clear. First question, how is the built-in design? Alrighty, taking a closer look, you will notice built-in design is top-notch. Very good. Stylish. The cool thing is the subwoofer is slim and not very bulky and so is the soundbar. Here are the dimensions to give you an idea. It will fit comfortably into a smaller space. To the front you have the metal grill which houses the dual drivers beneath it. You can't see it but yeah it's there. And a LED display in the center that shows you the input mode you are in. Bottom of the soundbar you have grippy stands in case you want to place it near your TV. To the back wall mount holes in case you want to hang it. Back also has the connectivity ports which I'll talk about in detail in the next question. And the power cable. Side the on off button which also allows you to change modes and the volume controls. Very thoughtful to have it on the side, handy when you misplace the remote and quickly want to control it. Overall impressive design and build. Second question, what are the connectivity options available on this soundbar? Well it has HDMI ARC which is good. So if your TV has HDMI ARC slot, you can use a HDMI cable to connect it. Then the digital optic port, using an optic cable like this, you can connect it to your TV if your TV has an optic port. Then the normal aux port. You know the 3.5mm slot, most TVs will have this. Left a USB slot to connect pen drives, max up to 32GB. Yep, you can play music directly from the drive. Then a slot to connect the subwoofer to the bar. Apart from all these wide connectivity options, it also has Bluetooth 5. So you can stream music from your mobile, tablet, whatever, directly and enjoy. Awesome right? Third question, how easy is this to set up? Well, it's super easy. Place the subwoofer on a wooden plank or on your entertainment center, elevated. For demo I am placing it down but better to keep it elevated depending on the space available. And the soundbar, mount it above the TV or place it below the TV as per your need. I have gone ahead and placed it below the TV for this demo. Now connect the wire from the subwoofer which is approximately 8 feet in length to the soundbar SW slot. Then depending on your TV audio output, connect the bar and the TV either using HDMI ARC cable, aux cable or optic cable. Then connect the power cable from the soundbar to your power outlet and turn on using the remote and you're done. Fourth question, do I need a smart TV to connect this or can I connect it to any sort of LED, LCD or say an old CRT TV? 
you can connect it to any sort of TV, be it smart, normal LED LCD, or even a CRT TV like this. Huh? For CRT, you can use the AUX audio cable in the box. Fifth question, how is the remote? Well, the remote is pretty standard and easy to understand. It is powered by two AAA batteries. Pad to connect the soundbar with the remote, then input to change different input modes. Then the volume control, play, pause, next previous. Then you have few preset audio modes to choose depending on what content you're playing to enhance its experience. Like music, if you're purely listening to music. News, so when you're watching a TV channel, you can use this. Or movies to give you a cinematic feel. Then a 3D equalizer mode and then you have the treble and bass controls which you can adjust to your liking. So overall a control packed remote which is compact in the hand. Ha! You got lucky Shan. You said compact for the remote, not the soundbar. Exclusive tech Shan comparison time. Well, if I have to say, the remote is approximately in the size of a Unibic 30 gram snack bar. Yup, crazy but true. Another exclusive tech Shan comparison. Sixth question. Can you use the TV remote to control both the soundbar and the TV? Well, depends. If you connect via the HDMI ARC cable, you can do that. And it works flawless, as you can see here. I'm using my TV remote to reduce the volume of my soundbar. Also automatically turns on and off the soundbar when you turn on and off the TV. Cool. Seventh question. What is the output and how is the audio quality? The soundbar combined with the woofer has a total output of 80 watts. It has dual 2.5 inch mid high range drivers and a 5.25 inch subwoofer. Definitely good enough for a medium sized room. Here are the technical specifications for your reference. On the audio sample, though what you hear and what I hear will be entirely different because the output you hear is from the device you're watching this video. Still, here is an audio sample. It has well balanced highs, mids and lows. In most cases, the preset movie mode on the remote sounds better. So make sure to use that. I really like how loud and clear the audio is. Vocals are clear. Bass is thumping enough. The movie watching experience was awesome. Overall, if I have to say, you will love it. Trust me. Eighth question. Does it have 3D virtual surround sound? Well, no. But you do get a 3D equalizer mode on the remote, which is just a gimmick. Ninth question. Does this soundbar have warranty and what is the price? Well, this costs around Rs 7,500 and I personally feel it's a good pricing. Zebronics is a known brand and this comes with one year service warranty. Do note price might fluctuate plus or minus time to time. It's not in my control guys. We'll leave the Best Buy link in the description. Check it out. Tenth question. Should you buy Xiaomi's Mi soundbar or this? Well, frankly, my choice would be this. The extra amount you spend is definitely worth it. Dedicated subwoofer, higher output with better sound quality and ample connectivity ports. I will pick this for sure. Phew, I guess I've answered most of the common questions. Got more? Drop them in the comments, we'll try to answer it. Overall, it's a fantastic budget friendly soundbar that you can buy to amplify your TV sound experience. Now if you ask me, is there something that I don't like about it? Well, to be frank, I'm happy with the pricing and what it offers. Only thing that bothers me is Zebronix could have considered bundling the HDMI cable and the optic cable in the box, which is a must as now I have to buy it separately depending on my need. Minus that, nothing major. So, hope you guys found this video helpful to know about the Jukba 4000 budget soundbar. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. New detection, subscribe and hit that bell icon as I have more awesome tech videos lined up for you all. I hope you guys will do it. Come on guys, do respect my efforts.
All right, we'll catch you in another exciting video. Until then, 